Hello everyone, welcome to the IoT video series. Today we'll program Intel Edison using Arduino. We'll send the data from the Intel Edison to the ThinkSpeak channel using a Wi-Fi connection and then we'll retrieve that data from ThinkSpeak channel using an Android app. So let's simulate a situation. Let's say you are miles away from your home but you have sensors installed in your door. You want to know the status of your door, whether it's open or closed. And when the door gets open, you want an alarm to trigger. You want your Android app to tell you that your door has been opened. So that is exactly what we are going to do today. Stay tuned because I'll be coming back with more videos. Okay, so this is the Intel Edison that has been already programmed. And it has been connected to plus 12 volt. I have connected an LED with pin number 13 and a wire with pin number 2. This wire can either be connected with plus 5 volt or 0 volts. If it's connected to plus 5 volt, the LED will glow up, which means in the physical world, your doors are open. And in this case, we want an alarm in our smartphone. And if it is connected to ground, that means everything is okay. Your doors are closed. And you can see the status but alarm will not activate ok so for this we will use an mobile app and we will see what is happening first of all we will click the icon and enter our channel id so first we will enter our channel id so enter your channel id and click save and then we'll click the field that we want to see actually I'm sending data to field number 4 so I'll connect I'll select 4th field we can see here in the 4th field the data is 0 because it is connected to ground so it is sending 0 after every 18 seconds now what we will do is we will set the alarm and the task we will select a field number 4 value is between 1 and 1 1 and 1 means just 1 1 and 1 we wanted to say warning the doors are open and we wanted to vibrate for 3 seconds and then we'll click save you can see the alarm uh, the indications here that alarm will trigger the field 4 value is between 1 and 1 now I'll connect this to plus 5 volt the LED will not glow up instantaneously because it is taking 18 seconds to scan that is what I have done in my program and I'll tell you the reason when we'll discuss the program we have to wait some time because the scan time of the program is 18 seconds and after 18 seconds it will send a sample so this is the LED has glowed up that means the sample has been sent to a ThinkSpeak channel now we will come back and see our app we will click here and see data warning the doors are open ok so the alarm has been triggered and we will select fourth field which we were earlier watching and we can see the last data point has been moved to one because we have received a sample after each 18 second we will receive another sample 
and then another alarm. We can deactivate that alarm if we want. Warning: the doors are open. So it is giving us the warning even if we are sitting miles away from our home, from anything that we want to scan or see, we can see it. And this is the one of the benefits of Internet of Things. It it is connected to Wi-Fi, and you are watching all the data in real time. It also finds its application in biomedical because this Intel edition is so small that it you can wear that in your bracelet and all that stuff you can create variable electronics and and do plethora of things that you want okay oh, so first of all we have declared Two libraries because we will be using function from these two libraries then I have declared two variables one is the button pin and the second one is LED pin the button pin has been declared as 2 and LED pin as 13 because LED was connected to 13 and the wire was connected to pin number 2 then you have to enter the name and the password of your Wi-Fi network here because we'll use these two informations to connect to a Wi-Fi network so this is the name of the Wi-Fi network and here we have the password of the Wi-Fi network. Then I have declared an integer status. I have declared this because I want to know after each scan whether we are still connected to a Wi-Fi network or not. And if we are not connected, we want to reconnect it and then we'll send the sample. And then this is the IP address of the ThinkSpeak channel which I got from its URL and then the Wi-Fi client. This initialize the client library and connect us to a Wi-Fi network. Then these two pins, we have declared them an LED pin as an output and button pin as an input. Then we have to make a string because we want to open a string. So first we make that complete string. The complete URL is divided into three parts. This is the URL which is given by things speak channel it has been connected no, sorry divided into three parts the first one is this the second one is up to here and the third one is the actual data which is this so the first part which is from this to this is received from here which is the IP address of the things speak channel the second part which is from this to this we'll get them by a get request and that is this one here I have written 4 because I want to send the data to the field number 4 and finally the actual data which was this in here this is the actual data which is the status of the pin has been received by this y equal to y is equal to digital read button pen but but this is an integer so first we want to convert that into a string which has been done by using this four lines of code and finally all has been added z equal to x plus p what is x this get and next get means to get the thing speak url plus this data and finally b b is nothing but y which has been converted into a string now in next line we have to modify our status after each scan so here we'll see whether we are connected to network or not and if we are not connected first we'll connect it to a network and then we'll wait for 10 seconds else if we are connected and the response from our Wi-Fi network is 80 that means if we are connected then we'll always get a response of 80 and if it if it's true then we'll print Z that means we'll open a new URL what is it that is a combination of this which was nothing but a complete this URL that we have to open in order to upload the data 
and finally we'll give it a delay of 18 seconds why 18 seconds because things speak does not allow us to update a channel with less than 15 seconds that means the minimum time between two data samples cannot be less than 15 seconds and finally we'll close the URL and start the process again and that's it you can modify the code you can do whatever you want but make cool projects and please comment on this page thank you